Bell ringing is one of the oldest traditions in this country. But can I do it? I've got just four weeks of training to build me up to ring at Bradford Cathedral. Ow. It's a tough challenge, but one that I'm excited for. Well, what am I doing? <laughs> Hi, I'm Ant Smith and I'm going to be learning bell ringing. Um, we're here at Silsden and in four weeks I shall be ringing the bells at Bradford Cathedral. Um, I'm on the roof of Silsden Church right now and I'll be learning here, not obviously on the roof, downstairs. Um, and I know very little about it, I'm a, this is my first time even doing this kind of thing. Uh, I can't wait for it, it's going to be really good. So many steps. I hope I've got enough um, energy to do this. Let's go. Thank you. It's a bit different from Bradford, but yeah, it's yeah. easier to teach you here, so it's easier to come here if that's okay yeah, with you. Yeah. Any questions uh, so far? Well, the, the main thing is um, I've heard that you need a lot of upper body strength, so um, I, I, is, is, that, is that true? or you know? um, For most spells, it's more about it's like the technique rather than the actual strength. Right. So, because if you think about if you've got a bell with a wheel and a rope, so there's lots of physics in there with momentum and levers so you're just getting things going so it is more about learning the technique rather than actually needing to pull hard. Right, okay well that's that's put paid to my uh, thoughts that I had. Uh, um, so more technique than actual strength which hopefully is good for me. Um, so After I met Deborah we went and looked at the bells to talk about how they work and also the things like the stays and when the bells are in the upright position. When we ring the bells we ring by rope and wheel, so yeah. we'll go around. This part up here is called the stay, and if you look just below the bell, you can see there's a piece of wood running underneath the bell. That's called the slider. The stay and the slider engage and run in the slider's running board, so that when we're ringing the bells, it stops them from carrying on going round and round and round and round. Okay. At the moment, the bells are in the safe down position, because the bells are hanging as you think bells should hang. Yes. When we actually go to ring them, the first thing we have to do is swing them slowly from side to side until they go 180 degrees and they're inverted. The stay and the slider are engaged and the bell is upside down. And is this, is this the bell that I'm going to be ringing? No, you're actually going to be ringing the bell that's below this one. Because here, because it's quite a small tower, we've got our bells on two tiers and we've got odds on the top and evens on the bottom and you're going to be learning on our number four bell. Right. And is that the hardest bell? No, all of our bells are very easy, but that's just a nice, nice bell for teaching learners on. Not too light, not too heavy. Good. Deborah then showed me how to hold the rope and I began my first lesson. I was a little bit apprehensive about this as I thought it would be very simple just pulling on a rope and then letting go, but it wasn't. Pick the rope up like we said then, one hand at the bottom, Next one above, however feels most comfortable. Mm -hmm. right. And um, I'm just on this big pile of boxes because I shall be assisting you, but I want to be above you so that you can get the feel yourself. Right, okay. I just when thought I, you wanted to be taller. When I, when I feel that it's okay for you. Right. I shall help you the first few times, and then as you're getting it, you can do more on your own. Right, so when it comes down, it's going to go back and take me with it, and then yes. I'm kind of guiding it back down, down yes. and then holding it here. Yes. Okay. Okay? Yes. Ready? Yes. We go. That's good. Don't look up. I'm not looking up. <laughs> As I was ringing for the first time, I felt mixed emotions. I was part nervous, but mostly annoyed because I felt as though I should pick it up a bit quicker than I did. Uh, that felt that felt um, good. It was uh, weird because I feel as though I should have been pulling it, but yeah. no, it was good. It was, well, it was you're going to do a little bit of pulling now because right. what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you to give me the tail end. Right. And what you're going to do is just the pulling off on the sally. Right. So literally just with your both hands on the sally, pulling down and finishing in the middle here. Right. You're not going to catch it or anything, so you're just going to practice the pull and letting go of the sally so that you don't start going up right. again with it. So pull it from the, let it go here again. Yeah. Okay. Right. I'll say it with you to start there. So stretch up as far as you can. Mm -hmm. Ready? Yeah. So it's this long, sort of gentle pull there. Right, okay. Okay, pulling down, let, let go. That was a little bit too much. Okay. Try again. 
Deborah then gave me a good analogy for bell ringing. She said it was like finding the biting point on a car and that I should ring from balance point to balance point, which was a lot harder than it sounded. Go. I then put everything I had learned together. I was pulling the rope and catching it at the same time. That didn't hold it all the way down that much. said it's not pulled, it's oh. technique, which you haven't got at the moment. I totally missed that bit. Totally missed that one. I went backwards. I did the other hand. Okay. Ow. It is, it's hard to get that bit down. Yeah. Because I keep wanting to go like that and then that's when I go wrong. Yeah. Uh, difficult. So, um, well, four weeks to get this right. Um, I, I, was it an alright start? I mean, I've had longer lessons than normal people, as normally it's like half an hour, isn't it? Yeah. But um, uh, is, it, is it okay? Yes, it's coming on. As I said, now you've got the feel, it's just getting that technique perfected. Still on a silent bell, so we're not upsetting the neighbours. Once you're more comfortable with this technique, then we'll move on to trying to ring open and ring in, fitting in with other people. Yeah, that's daunting. Uh, <laughs> look forward to it though. Again, it should be. It's going to be. I think a different experience than ringing without um, the actual bell, you know, without the noise. So ringing with other people, that's something to look forward to. But for now, more work on this. I went to Bradford Cathedral to see how it compared to ringing at Silsden. There were a lot more bells there, and it was a lot bigger than I was anticipating. Seeing them ring at Bradford Cathedral, I felt overwhelmed. How was I supposed to go from not ringing at all to be ringing at Bradford Cathedral? Okay, so it's my fourth practice. Um, it's the first time ringing with a group, um, and it's also the first time I'm going to be hearing the actual bell going because I've been uh, ringing with a, a silencer on. Um, so a little bit worried about that. Um, it'll be really weird to hear the actual bell um, going as well, and I think it's going to be very hard uh, ringing with people. Um, but Deborah says I've got the basics down, so. Um, you know, uh, this is just another step on the way to Bradford Cathedral. So I'm going to be doing rounds of uh, three, uh, four, uh, three, four and five, is that right? Yes, that's right. Three, four and five, I'm the middle. Um, I've just watched them all do um, a, a round um, and getting the bells up. That was uh, unnerving because it looked just easy. Um, so I don't know how this is going to go. <laughs> Looking forward to it. Right, what am I doing? <laughs> right, you, you start pulling just after... I shall say stand to. Trebles. And you'll take the weight. Yes, Phil's going. And then Treble's going. And then and gone. And pull just after. And I say gone. You pull just after that. Okay. Right. Stand right. two. Treble's going. Not pulling. Treble's gone. There you go. Let's look at that way. Ringing as a three was very difficult. It was hard enough following the person on my right, but it just became me trying to keep my bell under control. God, that was hard. <laughs> um, it's hard to watch other people as well. And I feel sorry for the person who has to follow me, because uh, who knows what timing that was. Um, difficult, very. I continued ringing as a three and built up confidence, so then we tried ringing as a six. Ringing as a six was much harder than ringing as a three, as it took longer to get round to your turn again. So you had to actually go from balance point to balance point. So I've got a week left until I uh, ring at Bradford Cathedral. Um, I'm, I'm a bit happier than I was at the beginning of the process. Um, it's, I, f I feel a bit more at ease because um, I think I can actually ring now. There's no way I'll ever be able to do those methods, but for the sake of what I'm doing with, the, um, with doing the rounds, um, I'm actually quite excited. Still nervous, obviously, uh, but hopefully after today's practice, I'll be feeling a lot more confident. This time I was ringing as part of a younger group. It was good to see young people getting involved with bell ringing, and this countered my view that it's just like the over 50s who ring. 
I was also ringing a different bell this time. This was because I wouldn't be ringing the exact same bell at Bradford Cathedral, as all bells have different weights. It was good for me to get used to different bell sizes. Well, um, that was a lot harder than I thought. In fact, I said, as I said to Deborah, um, I felt that was my worst practice and I'm a little bit annoyed about it because, and she said, she said why? Um, and I said that it's just, it felt that we were ringing too quickly. I mean, in a way, well, she said she said we were the, the these ringers that we had today. They were they were quicker ringers, which in a way is good because I've got to learn to ring slower and quicker, and go from balance point to balance point. It's not a, it's not a loss at all today. I've learned I've learned how to you know get onto the balance point and and actually ring from balance point to balance point. And also, when I lose it, um, I can I can get it back fairly quickly. Well, quicker than I used to. Um, so I'm pleased as a whole today, but there is that little niggle of just annoyance. But one more practice to go, and in a week, we ring at Brava Cathedral. So I'm at my uh, last practice. Um, at, um, to be honest, I feel rotten. Uh, I've, got, I've got a cough and a cold, so hopefully that won't affect uh, what I do tonight. Um, also, I'm, I'm just cold as well. <laughs> but, uh, you know, hey, um, we will, we will uh, struggle through and hopefully um, it'll be all right. Um, tonight, I'm going to be going from the fifth bell to the sixth bell, the heaviest in the tower, to see, um, to see if I can cope with that. Um, to be honest, I'm, I'm a little bit worried about uh, Sunday, um, mainly because I'm not going to be ringing the same weight um, as I've been ringing all this time, I don't think. Um, so it's, and also with 12, it's slower. Um, so I'm really, I'm, I'm really worried about it, but also, you know, I'm, I'm excited to see if I can actually do it. Um, but yeah, worried. When I was ringing the sixth bell in a group, it felt easier than when I was ringing the fourth or fifth bell. I didn't feel good at all, but apparently, was it all right? I, I yeah, don't know. Yeah, it was yeah, all right. Just, was a bit close to the hand stroke, but that's just with that the bell's odd struck, so you just have to, that means it doesn't strike completely and as evenly as it should do, so you just have to accommodate slightly. So you just need to be slightly bigger gap when you're, at, when you're pulling on the sally. Right, okay. Uh, better than the, f uh, the five, the fifth bell, uh, for some reason. I don't know why, the jump from fourth to sixth is feels uh, more comfortable, but it's probably because the fifth bell's just, not for me. The time had come for me to ring at Bradford Cathedral. I was feeling really nervous, but also eager to do it. The first time I rang in rounds, it was going really well, until I mucked up. <laughs> Deborah had to intervene, and I was feeling really embarrassed. I don't even know how I lost control of the rope. It was probably down to the fact that there was double the bells at the cathedral and the ropes were a lot longer. Okay, so this is it. Really four weeks of uh, intensive training, it certainly was. Um, and hopefully this is the one which I will get perfect. <laughs> Look two, trouble's going, it's gone. <laughs> Um, I've had a whole month of, uh, of bell ringing. Uh, we worked it out, it was about 13 hours of uh, intense, and I mean intense, training. Um, and there's been, there's been a few times where I just thought I couldn't, I couldn't do it. Um, 
but um, I've rung today at Bradford Cathedral. I'm really pleased with how it's gone. There were some mistakes, but on the whole, if you look at a, a month ago, um, I didn't, you know, I didn't even know how to ring. So I'm really pleased with how it's gone today. Um, I can't believe that I've managed to learn to ring in a month. Um, I, it's just been a really good experience. I've been really pleased with it.